Hi what's up everyone, in this video, we are going to talk about the top best camera lens for birding you can buy on Amazon. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing to our channel and press the bell icon. More than simply having a sharp eye and being patient are needed to capture the beauty and grace of birds in their natural habitat, the ideal camera lens is also necessary. In this video, we explore the top camera lenses that can make your birding experience even better as we dig into the intriguing world of birding photography. These lenses are painstakingly created to bring you closer to your avian subjects, whether it's catching the fine details of colorful plumage or stopping the quick motion of a bird in flight. Join us as we reveal the leading contenders for the title of the best camera lens for birding, whether you're a fervent birder or a seasoned photographer. This list is based on my personal opinion and research and lists them based on random numbering. If you want more information and updated pricing on the products mentioned be sure to check the links in the description below. So let's get started. On number 5. Canon Camera's USE F70-300 is 2 USM 70-300mm f 4 5.6. Photographers' opinions of the Canon EF 70-300mm f 4 5.6 IS2 USM lens are divided. Given Canon's history of making high-quality, reasonably priced telephoto lenses, there was initially enthusiasm and anticipation surrounding the lens. Prior lenses had utilized the Nano USM Focus technology, which had shown promise despite occasionally subpar optical performance. Many people anticipated that the new Canon EF 70 300mm f 4 5.6 IS2 USM lens will have enhanced optics in addition to great focus. Early evaluations, however, were unfavorable, suggesting that the lens did not provide appreciable optical advancements over its predecessor. Despite this, the reviewer approached the lens with an open mind and recognized that results from real-world use could occasionally differ from those from lab tests. In order to provide context, the reviewer also contrasted the lens with the Tamron SP70 to 300mm f 4-5.6 VC USD lens. The Canon lens sported a contemporary appearance, a robust construction, and easy zooming. It was devoid of the lens hood and weather sealing that were typical of Canon lenses that were not part of the L-series. A new LCD window was included within the lens, and it showed details like the focal length, focus distance, and camera shake. There is room for improvement in the LCD window, which garnered mixed reviews. Overall, the lens had a modern design, superior build quality, and versatile usage options for both full-frame and APS-C cameras. It was incompatible with Canon's teleconverters, and its optical performance was still up for debate. Pros of Canon Camera's USE F70-300 is 2 USM 70-300mm f 4-5.6. Lens tracks well in AF servo mode. Nano USM provides excellent video performance. Modern design language and a good build inside and out. Cons of Canon Camera's USE F70-300 is 2 USM 70-300mm f 4-5.6. Not compatible with Canon's extenders, at all. Why not compatible with the power zoom accessory? No other ceiling or lens hood. On number 4. OM System Olympus M, Zuiko Digital 100-400mm f 5.0-6.3 is. For micro four-thirds cameras, the OM System M Zuiko Digital ED 100-400mm f 5-6.3 IS lens is a weather-sealed ultra-telephoto zoom. It weighs 1120G and provides a view that is similar to 200-800mm in 35mm size. Although it has great telephoto capabilities and superb image quality, it is bigger and heavier than its main rival, the Panasonic Leica DG Vario Elmar 100-400mm f 4-6.3 ASF Power OIS. Although the lens may be used with OM system teleconverters to expand focal lengths, it is less effective for subjects that move quickly due to its slower maximum aperture and inadequate optical stabilization. The lens has a solid construction, a smooth zoom ring, and an Arca Swiss mount. Generally speaking, autofocus performance is strong, albeit it may have trouble with smaller, irregular subjects. When using larger apertures, image quality is sharp, however, when using lower apertures, diffraction is apparent. Under controlled circumstances, the optical stabilization performs effectively, but in windy conditions, it may have trouble. 
Overall, the lens offers a fascinating and affordable telephoto photography alternative, although some users may find its size and weight to be a detriment. Pros of OM System Olympus M, Zuiko Digital 100-400mm f5.0-6.3 is Sharp optics Plus robust, weather-sealed construction Plus handy close-focus capability Cons of OM System Olympus M, Zuiko Digital 100-400mm f5.0-6.3 is Large and heavy compared to its Panasonic equivalent Slow maximum aperture demands use of high ISOs. On number 3. Panasonic Lumix G Leica DG Vario Elmar Professional Lens, 100-400mm, f4.0-6.3 ASPH. With an effective zoom range of 200-800mm, the Panasonic Leica DG Vario Elmar 100-400mm f4-6.3 ASPH Power OIS lens is made for micro four-thirds cameras. It may miss several capabilities found in other super telephoto zoom lenses, such switchable IS modes, but it more than makes up for this with a lightweight, compact construction that is suitable for handheld shooting. Impressive image quality is provided by the lens, which also has an optical stabilizer called Power O. I, S, that cooperates with camera bodies that have in-body stabilization. For recording videos, the autofocus system's quick and silent operation allows for seamless focus changes. The lens has a zoom lock ring to fix the desired focal length and is solidly constructed, resistant to moisture and dust. In laboratory tests, the lens showed acceptable sharpness, little chromatic aberration, and little distortion. Overall, it is an excellent lens for micro four-thirds cameras that may be used for sports, action, and wildlife photography. Pros of Panasonic Lumix G Leica DG Vario Elmar Professional Lens, 100-400mm, f4.0-6.3 ASPH. Compact and lightweight, yet tough. Plus quick, smooth autofocus. Plus impressive image quality. Cons of Panasonic Lumix G Leica DG Vario Elmar Professional Lens, 100-400mm, f4.0-6.3 ASPH. Lacks switchable IS modes. Sharpness not great past 200mm. Narrow max aperture at 400mm. On number 2. Sony FE 200-600mm. A high-end zoom lens created for wildlife and sports photography is the Sony FE 200-600mm f5.6-6.3 GOSS. It stands out in its price category since it has an internal zoom design, which is unique compared to less expensive competitors. It has a long telephoto reach, quick focus, and dust and splash resistance, and it costs $1,999.99 MSRP. The lens has a rotating tripod collar and is teleconverter capable. Its handling, which has a zoom control that is simply adjusted, has received praise. For photographers who frequently use a 600mm lens, the internal zoom mechanism can be a drawback because the lens is prone to inadvertent changes. The Sony FE 200-600mm operates admirably in the field and offers consistent resolution across its zoom range despite this flaw. It is a good option for Sony camera users looking for a multi-purpose telezoom lens for landscape and animal photography. Pros of Sony FE 200-600mm Long telephoto reach Fast focus Internal zoom design Cons of Sony FE 200-600mm Narrow maximum aperture On number 1 Sigma 150 to 600 mm 5 to 6.3 contemporary DG OS HSM. The Sigma 150 to 600 mm f/5-6.3 DG OS HSM contemporary is a capable telephoto lens with a wide zoom range, quick focusing, and trustworthy image stabilization at a competitive price. With a suggested retail price of $1,089, it offers fantastic value for the features it has. The lens has a tripod collar and lens hood and is recognized for its clarity. It includes an efficient image stabilization mechanism and rapid autofocus, enabling handheld photography at slower shutter rates. Although it has considerable pincushion distortion and chromatic aberration, these small flaws have little impact on how well it performs for wildlife and sports photography.